Hi, this is Steve Sims, and I'm the CEO and founder of The Bluefish, as a lot of you already know. I want to talk to you about the concierge industry, and I'm going to do it by showing you an example at the moment, so bear with me for a second. What you're looking at here is my race bike. This is a new 1299S Ducati Panigale. It's around 200 brake horsepower, incredibly light with carbon fire, a feat of engineering and Italian design, not to 16, just over two seconds, and basically a complete and utter waste of time if you've got to pick the kids up on a Saturday afternoon from soccer practice. I hope I've got the point across with that little example using this bike. You see, the concierge industry has just become diluted. You can get a concierge for your car, you can go and buy a TV, and at your Best Buy, there's a Best Buy electrical concierge. I dropped my dog off at the vet the other day, and I was asked if I wanted to make an appointment by the vet concierge. So, quite simply, this is to get across that the question's not do you need a concierge, it's what concierge do you need? Now, as you've already noticed from our company, we actually ask everyone to apply and then we speak to them because quite simply, a lot of the people that contact us, they don't need us and we can't help them and we don't want to charge people that we can be of no service to you. So, when you're looking out there for a concierge, the first thing I want you to do is actually look at what you want. What do you need? Are you looking for people in travel? Are you looking for people in events, experiences, wedding, corporate? Ask yourself those questions. Come armed, understanding what kind of concierge you're going to get. It's important as you get a pet concierge when you're planning a wedding. So there's concierge firms out there, very reputable. There's also a lot of concierge firms out there that opened up on a Monday and closed down on a Friday. So my question to you is, when you're looking at a concierge firm, Know who's behind it, because those are the people that are responsible. A concierge actually owns nothing. We have no product. We don't produce anything that you can take home. It's all about the access. It's all about the Rolodex. And if you can't trust the person behind it, or quite simply, if they won't stand in front of that service and say, hey, this is who I am, this is what I do, do you really want to be giving them your credit card details? So I ask you, go and ask yourself first of all, what do you need from a concierge? Then go and start looking out and see what kind of firms you're out there. And if you've got something that you want and you want to ask us, hey, we'll direct you. We're not for everyone. We've stated that very clearly on the website, but we may be able to nudge you in the direction of someone that is. Again, concierge is a great lifestyle. It's a great asset for you. We like being your secret best friend. Just pick the right one. All the best, Steve Sims.